Dual robots of Pippi Robbie. So Pippi Robbie were just the names of the robots that I was using. Uh, that's what I, my friendly name for them. And the idea is to have one robot feeding real time information to the other. So if you watch my videos on the optimization process, so optimization, you have to go through a, a window back in time. You have to decide um, and that's completely discretionary. You have to understand the markets to decide. Um, you still have to choose your time frame. Um, there's nothing quantitative that'll tell you like what, how far back, like how much data is too much data, how little data is too little data. Recency is key. That's the way that I always um, talk about things. But the, so you get the first optimization. So you run your bots, both of them, in the optimization for whatever the time period was, whether it's uh, two weeks, one month, two months, three months, a year, depending on your time frame, how high a time frame that you're trading off of, uh, based on what you want your risk and your target's reward to be. But then to fine tune it in real time, uh, having one robot going out there and getting beat up, feeding information back to the secondary robot to adjust in real time rather than having to, it's like if you could optimize all day, like re-optimize, re-optimize with the most recent information coming in on that day, it would be good. But when you have a dual robot system, the other robot can send data back to the other one. And the first one can be running in SIM and it sends back to the secondary robot where, so Pippi's out there running in SIM and then sends the information back to Robbie and Robbie can take the live trade. Yes, exactly. So one of the bots is getting the optimal data series for the other one, yeah. But the only way they can do that is by suffering, right? Like they just have to go out there and take the plays that came out of normal optimization, which in theory should be good. Is the auto one, the auto two, the dummy. So as of right now, they're they're both running. No, they're not feeding each other. Yeah, we don't. I don't get to that phase until after the 40 days. Right now, I'm just collecting information to see to make sure that I'm not missing something. Like right now is like the easy phase. This is like a low hanging fruit stage. Get all the bugs worked out make adjustments, um, and then and then I'll turn it into a, a bot feeder. But I call it reader writer. Here we go, DCDM, let's go, baby. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned. Watch this next video.